crimped my battery cable so it's just just the last one to do and uh, just want to show you the process I would normally use this hydraulic uh, crimping tool and uh, just gonna cut it to size I will just kind of twist it just to make sure the copper is in place when I insert this one and uh, once at the stage I'll just get my crimping tool insert it normally I'll do this on the floor but I just want to show you the process I wouldn't do it on this table I'm gonna move it to the floor now and get it done but what I can do is I'll just do it on this table for now until the okay now on the side I've got the adjusting tool here adjusting wheel so I'm just gonna turn it on and tighten it and just keep some people use armor but I like it neat like this most cases you will need somebody who can assist you to to hold this so that you can exact your pressure on the printing tool because you don't want the cable to be sliding out now at this stage I will just kind of put it on the floor because I don't like it okay and I hold this down and then put more pressure on it Use two hands if necessary because you don't want to be you don't want the cable to be sliding out of the lock when you connect it to the battery and the inverter. So I think I'm done. I'm gonna release the wheel here and it's gonna open up. Let's take it out, and this is what you've got. Now this is actually not the best so far because the crimp actually held it from the top here rather from just from the middle just like others but that's still okay it's still very tight so anyways yeah I will do it from the middle to give it more strength that's just all I want to share with you in this video and uh, the next phase is you will see the way I connect it to the battery and also, also to the solar inverter thank you guys